Hey Garden People, today we're planting potatoes. So we just got back from the farmer's market. I got six red potatoes and 10 Yukon Gold. These are all organically grown and you can see on the red potatoes, uh, some of them already are sprouting at the eyes. And before we plant these, we're going to want all of the potatoes to start sprouting. So we have our potatoes in either grow pots or egg cartons. I found a pretty warm place in my house, so I'll just put the potatoes there and hopefully we'll start seeing sprouts on all of these potatoes. Here's how to successfully plant potatoes in burlap sacks in your garden. So we set out these potatoes about a month ago and each potato has so many eyes on it, so that's when you know it's time to plant. We're gonna use Ron Finley, the gangster gardener's method of planting potatoes in burlap sacks. So you can get this from your local coffee roaster, usually for free. And I got mine from a neighbor on OfferUp. So why burlap sacks? Well, they're more breathable than a plastic container. And for harvesting, all you have to do is pour the potatoes out of the bag, but definitely use whatever you have access to. Just make sure that if it's not a breathable container that you add drainage holes. For these bags, we're going to double them up for strength. So I'll just put one bag inside another, then roll down the sides a few inches to create a sort of pot shape. Next, we'll fill our bags to the top with a mixture of good garden soil and compost. But don't follow my instructions to a T. I make mistakes. A lot of them. So you'll want to fill your bags at the planting location with a mixture of good garden soil and compost. It'll save you some backache. So we have 16 potatoes here and each of them have a whole bunch of eyes. So we're just going to want to cut the potatoes so each piece has at least one eye on it. So each bag can hold up to six to eight potatoes. So we will plant them six inches deep cut side down, eye side up, and just make sure to space them out so they have enough room to grow. Potatoes like a lot of sun, so find a spot in your garden that gets sun throughout the day. And now that the potatoes are planted, we'll give them a nice soak. Now we watch them grow. Water your potato plants whenever the top few inches of soil starts to dry out. These will grow for the next several months and produce beautiful purple or white flowers. When those flowers start to die, we know it's time to harvest. Happy potato planting. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you love Rita like I do.